Hello, and welcome to Loverboy821 Plays. Sorry about that, I was just in the chair because I was not comfortable, and I'm about to sit here for a expended period of time. Alright, anyway. Welcome to Loverboy821 Plays. This is a uh, stream, the third stream of our Sudeki playthrough. Uh, <laughs> since our second stream, which was yesterday... Uh, I died after 40 minutes, uh, not in the game, I'm very good at the game, but in real life, I, uh, I felt like, uh, garbage. So, since I had intended to get further in that, uh, part, I decided I'll just do another part. So you can kind of think of this as, uh, 2.5. Stream 2.5. Maybe I'll call it Stream 2.5. Who knows? Let's, uh, let's just get going. We're in the Temple of Shadanimo. We're gonna go defeat some demons. And, uh, yeah. I have to, let me pull up my notes real quick so I don't miss anything. All right, so we have three totems to get in this temple. Uh, this game is not very long, by the way. Which is why, like, we're going to find three totems of the 16 we need to collect in the very first, like, real dungeon. All right, this is not a good sword for against spiders. They're immune to poison. <laughs> But I like the way the sword looks, so we're just going to keep using it, because I'm over-leveled enough that it doesn't really matter. I'll stain the floor with your insides! You guys like that uh, Legend of Zelda-esque sound for completing a Legend of Zelda-esque dungeon? We're just gonna check up here. I don't think we need to go up here yet. I think this is for someone else, but you know, I just... I found this sword I've never seen before that looks really cool. It has a dragon head. Uh, and I just... Yeah, 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 yeah. This, is, this isn't for us. This is for our friend Doe. Uh, we'll, we'll be seeing this place again. Is all I'm saying. Once we are playing as the Chad himself.
Okay, well, it's a good thing we got this, because that's where, uh, one of the other people, that's where one of the dragon totems is, and there's a cat totem up there, I think. But this is unfortunately not where we get the eagle totem. Very annoying. I'm sure you'll all agree. Where the fuck? Did we come from this way, or did we come from the other way? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I think we're going up still. Nope, because we just saved here. Alright, cool. Yep, this, this feels correct now. So you can switch between the different weapons that your uh, first-person shooter characters have during combat. Uh, so the thing is, is like, Alish's first weapon does nearly no damage, but it doesn't need to reload ever. <laughs> like, I can just keep firing it. And because of that aspect, I, I feel like it's kind of the best weapon other than, like, maybe two of her other possible insane weapons. But this game has a lot of, like, the weapons aren't direct upgrades. Like, it's not like, oh yeah, you found a sword, it's plus whatever damage. It's a lot more like each weapon does different things. Like, the sword we're using does uh, poison damage, but does less physical damage than even, like, the starting sword. Um... There are a few, like, direct upgrades. Also, this is something called an Eagle Chamber, so it seems like this is a... Uh... Yeah, there we go. Because a Levitus is an Eagle. We need to go down the green path first. Alright, cool. Uh... Blue and yellow make green. Don't laugh at me, I'm colorblind. I don't know what that has to do with, like, knowing color theory. Uh, like, knowing that blue and yellow would, uh, make green. But this is where we get the equal totem. Dares try to stop my microphone. All right, Eagle Totem number three. Yo. All right, now we now we can continue. We already opened up the other two totems for when we get to use our other characters. And red and blue make purple. I know color theory. I passed pre-K and kindergarten. And many other levels of school also. Not all of them, mind. But a lot of them. Yep. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. What level do they start at? Seven? Alright, so we have we have suffered a small downgrade. But that is okay. Uh 
Uh, this is Buki. This is Elko. Elko is my favorite character. And as a matter of fact, if I were to make another top 10 list, I made a top 10 Pokemon list, he would be on my top 10 favorite video game characters of all time list. He is just such a chad. But then we have Buki, who is also a lot of fun, just not quite as fun as you know, Elko. Really, the, the four main characters in this game don't miss. They're all pretty fucking... A lot of, like, really good characters. Uh, so Buki swings faster, but does less damage than Tail. And I believe her weapons also tend to have a much higher critical kill rate. Alright, if I could stop being slow, that'd be great. Especially when I'm playing the character whose main thing that she defends. Alright. Oh. So, the reason why Elko's gun that does need to reload is better than his that doesn't need to reload, as opposed to, uh... Alish's gun that doesn't need to reload being worse is because his gun that does need to reload shoots everything in a line and does a ton of damage, whereas... Alish's secondary weapon is a short-range taser kind of thing that does a lot of damage. But since it needs to reload after one shot, you get like caught in a situation where you're going to get hit a bunch. Whereas Elko's weapon does a ton of damage and more importantly has enough range that you can make distance between you and your targets. So you have the time to reload rather than getting mauled with that. It also, since it strikes everyone in a straight line and has knocked back. Uh, it's just a monstrous weapon. It's just, it's just really worth it <laughs> to use. Also, he has a fucking jetpack. I don't think that's the tightest shit. Get the fuck out of here. Is there a chest around here, or am 
I making that up? I think I'm making that up. Yeah, we came in through there. We'll go. And then, oh, I think we're coming up on where we should be. Here's a thing. What in the heavens is this? I also like how each of them break the uh, collectibles differently. Alco, since he has a robotic arm, just uses his arm to crash it. Whereas, like, Alish is a magician, so she just snaps her fingers and it breaks. So it's just a. It's a fun attention to detail that often goes amiss in uh, newer games where they're just like they don't have as much personality no magic for you You motherfuckers thought you could outdo science? Don't make me laugh. Elko is just so. Man, I really like Elko. It's. It's something I forget about whenever I'm not playing Sudeki, but he is probably, like, he is easily top 10 favorites. I know you haven't had a lot of chance to, like, get acquainted with him just yet. But you will, I promise, because I'm going to be playing him a lot when he's available. We're also going to power level a lot so that everyone's about on par. You can haul like level 50 and then never power level again. I don't actually know if a game goes up to level 50. I've never had higher than like level 15 characters. Because <laughs> I've never needed to. I've never gotten far enough that it's like a problem. There we go. All right. Yeah. I feel so much better today than I did yesterday. I mean, when I woke up, I didn't. I was like, oh, no, I'm about to have another crappy day. But then uh, I'm feeling better now.
we're getting all of the base stats up to five orbs for everybody, and then we're getting all their special attacks. And then if we get levels after that, because I don't know how many levels you're actually restricted to in this game, we'll, uh, we'll decide then. Where the fuck am I going? Oh yeah. Duh. There's another one over here, isn't there? Okay. That's what I thought. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I'm glad that I didn't do this yesterday when I felt like shit, because I would not have been able to... I was I wasn't able to talk for the most part. Alright, so I guess we're going down to fight shit. Oh god, I hate these puzzles. I don't mean these ones specifically, necessarily. I just... I mean any sliding block puzzle in any game ever. There's one in Dragon Age Origins when you want to recruit Shell and I just want to die the entire time. Alright, this just needs to get out of our way. To be fair, this one's pretty simple if you're not an idiot like I was when I was fucking five or whenever I originally played this game. Uh, you just... I'm, I'm gonna open shit before I finish the puzzle. Uh, they have, like, orbs that all need to just be facing towards the center, so, like... You see this, this orb's facing towards the center now, and this orb's facing towards the center now. But yeah, no, this Jade Empire in the original Fable is what I played on the original Xbox when I was a kid. Of those, I probably played Jade Empire the most, truthfully. <laughs> I was uh, I was a weeaboo, so I liked the, uh, the punching and kicking. There you are. <laughs> Am I glad to see you two again? Through this door lies the Shadani Crystal. It is guarded by Gara, Queen of Spiders, an ancient ally of the Shadani people. Since the arrival of the Lightspawn, Gara has been driven to the edge of insanity. Now her children hunt us down, and she will fight until the last to protect the crystal. 
we can defeat her together. No. Gara is as much a Shadani warrior as I am. She has lived alongside us for so long that I cannot allow her to die at the hands of strangers. I will face Gara alone. When she is laid to rest, you can claim the Shadani crystal and return it to the safety of the castle. But it will remain the property of the Shadani people. That is madness, Buki. We came here to help you. Then you must respect my beliefs. I am as much from the world of animals as you are from that of men. This is our way. Gara will die mercifully at my hand. May Mo be with you. All right. Okay, yep. I I remember what I'm doing now. All right, then, we're gonna just pull back. Dodge that. And let's do this. I 
was still alive. Is it me or did the ground just move then? Uh oh. Look out, there's more coming. We really don't need this again. Out, out everyone. Let's just get out of here. Despite this dramatic escape, we are going to have to walk back into this temple to get those totems, so... This way, we can... Ah! Where are they all coming from? We'll be eaten alive! We're not cooked yet. I hope you've got a head for heights, because the only way is up. was absolutely amazing. We we were there and then we, and now we're here. This doesn't look like Illumina to me. I know this place. We are in the realm of shadows, where Mo was to lead my ancestors to safety. It's just as it was described in the scriptures. I am blessed. For now, I truly walk in heaven. I don't know about heaven, but I simply must investigate. There's a path up ahead. Let's see if we can get our bearings. <laughs> Buki gained some experience from that fight we can see. So this is a two-pronged thing for me playing Alco because he is my favorite character, but also right now he's level 8, Buki's level 10, and both Ailish and Taylor are level 13. Which means he's liable to get his ass kicked if I don't directly control him. So we're gonna... We're gonna control him. Because honestly, I would control him even if he wasn't behind. But now I have an excuse to where I'm like, yeah, I know, you should control him. That's just the smart thing.
Avoid these fucking things. So, uh, this is usually my grinding spot. So we're gonna grind a little bit here. I will probably grind more off camera, but, uh, let's, uh, let's... These things also give you things when they die. We want to collect those like we wanted to collect. There's a lot of collecting things in this game is really what I'm getting at. I don't know if they actually drop the things that we want yet, but we'll, uh, we'll see after I kill some. Yeah, we want, we want these fucking spirit orbs. Yeah, you know, we'll just we'll just do the fight again once. I have uh since I didn't get to make much progress last time, I'll just keep going. Or maybe I won't do the free fight free fight at all because they just okay, cool. No power leveling right now. We're just going. Okay, it won't let me quick slot that item. That's fine. Don't actually know what that item did, but that's cool. Oh, was that the ghost orb? Did I just waste the ghost orb? That's pretty weird. So 
So these are dead Shadani warriors. I'm taking it. That was a miss. There you Is this bullying? Am I bullying an ancient ancestral warrior? Like, ah, yes, you are really good with that sword. Too bad I have a fucking gun. Oh, look, someone came to help. Too bad they also don't have a gun.
Oh, was I not supposed to go here yet? Oh, wait, no. Let me climb up here. Ah, I dreamt you might come. My name is Hexum, descendant of Mo. How did you get here? Uh, we just appeared here. Ah, you mean you used the portal? It would be more accurate to say that it used us. Then you don't? Sir, we don't have a clue. Well, you must have activated the portal somehow. Perhaps there was a surge of magical power that sparked it off. In any case, without a navigation stone, you might be stuck. Stuck? The portal system, or Shadow Nexus, was made centuries ago, before the time of separation. It is how we anthropomorphs arrived here. Alas, not everyone made it in time, and there are precious few of us left alive now. We have failed to make our Nirvana here. Fascinating, I'm sure, but we simply must get back home. Where can we find one of those stones? Originally, there was only one navigation stone. However, when Haigu split the world of Sudeki in two, the stone was smashed. The larger section, the Stone of the Worlds, was given to Lord Farrick's law to guard. Another segment fell into the hands of a shopkeeper named Kamo. The final segments were lost to the agents of Haigu in the dark world of Akloria. Uh, but of course, you do not need to know all this. I cannot allow you to take the navigation stone in any case. It's powerful and can be used for good or evil. Because of this, it was decided that only an anthropomorphic warrior may claim the artifact from its master. This is the law of the gods. I am Buki, a warrior of the Shadani tribe. I could claim this stone. Hmm. Very well. But mark my words. With this stone comes responsibility. Your only hope for returning home is to travel north and find the navigation stone that rests in Farrick's Law's island tomb. This key will open the tomb, but know that the spirits within will defend Farrick's to the last. If you manage to defeat the stone's undead guardians, then it will fall upon you, young Buki, to climb up to the stone's resting place and claim it. If you are worthy, the gods will speak to you there. I do like of this ancient artifact, it is casually mentioned that uh, Kamo, the merchant, just has a piece of it. Also, I didn't record the conversation, but I did buy stuff from Kamo, and you're like, don't you have a shop in uh, another location? And he's like, yeah, I have this uh, teleportation stone thing that lets me just go from like shop to shop to make money. He's like, I have shops all over the known universe, motherfucker.
We're just gonna ignore those. I'm gonna grab this ghost orb real quick. Far away back, of course. Put a little lead in the air and see what falls over. Put a little lead in the air and see what falls over. Let's put a little lead in the air and see what falls over. See how, like, Buki and Tail, when fighting by themselves, will, like, do their combos, whereas, like, Ailish will take a shot every 12 years, even though she never has to take her trigger finger off the trigger for that fucking staff? That's why it's usually better to play as, well, either Elko or, uh, Ailish. Because, you know, the other two will at least actually try and fight. Ailish right now uh, has the healing things in her staff, which, I mean, and also is way higher level than Elko. So I do actually recommend playing Elko for this part, even if he isn't your favorite, like, fine. But uh, generally, uh, I, I think it's smartest to play as Ailish, because Elko takes a shot once every 12 years also, but his gun that he usually uses have equipped with this one needs to actually reload and so that's just how it works and it does enough damage to make up for it 
Whereas Alish has the uh, pew 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 staff equipped and isn't going pew pew pew, she's going pew all. weapon we just found for Elko is basically completely worthless. But similar to Ailish, his fucking one of his two starting weapons is his best weapon <laughs> until you get like his ultimate weapon. So I don't know that uh balancing was very good on those two, but you know what? Fun is fun and balancing is just a word. Something that other people worry about. There is a weapon here for Buki that we haven't grabbed yet. I think we might have just missed, which sucks because the weapon's awesome. Buki, you must serve your people now as never before. By touching this stone, you contact your ancestors and earn the right to call upon my servant, Mo. The fate of worlds now rests on your shoulders. Alright, let's see if we can find that weapon. I think it's around here somewhere. Yeah, it's over here. That's what I thought. And it's not the weapon. Alright, I was wrong. Camera angles are a little bit weird here. Make it kind of hard to see what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing, but that's okay. Weapon over there? me the stone of the worlds we must thank hexam for opening our eyes to this place with the navigation stone all omnia is open to us hmm. we'll keep our eyes out in case we come past the weapon somewhere else because i swear to god there's a weapon around here for boo Like, I can picture the weapon, but I'm like, do I... Am I picturing a weapon from somewhere else that I just think is here for whatever reason? Like, maybe the weapon... I didn't look at the weapon. No, I don't have the weapon I'm looking at. 
thinking of, but it might have been in the fucking Temple of Mo, which we're, we have to go back to get those two totems anyway, so that wouldn't be the biggest deal, I guess. Which is very upsetting. So this is pretty much the one time in the game where we're gonna, like, legitimately backtrack. Uh, and it's gonna be really annoying, because we have to go back to, like, the real world first. But after this, we'll just be getting things as we go along, for the most part. It'd be basically be two trips to Mo. Because the party is going to get split up again once we return, <laughs> which means we can't just go to the Mo as a full party and get both totems at once. We'll have to go as uh, two of them, and then it's two of them again. is really going to bother me that I don't know where that weapon is. I mean, it's neither here nor there. We're going to be getting a better weapon anyway, but I just, you know, don't like not knowing stuff. It's a very big... Especially when I, like, kind of know things. Like, it wouldn't bother me if I didn't know about the existence of this weapon we should be getting. But, like, since I do, but I don't know enough to actually get it, I'm annoyed by it. You will only a few. You wish only a mag. Okay, so we didn't actually need to come thank Haxum, but he did heal us, so that's nice. There we go. All right, onwards.
I keep getting turned around. God. Diddly, damn it. Alright. We're gonna go to where we're actually going now. Everybody follow me. We're going this way, right? Yes. Okay. Enemies come die over here so I don't finish the fight, forget where I'm going, and then go the wrong way again. <laughs> Ugh. Alright. Okay, I remember where we're going this time. Okay, so I might power level on the way back. That's how I usually do it. I want to I want to show you why I power level here after we get going if what I think is about to happen happens. Not this fight, like the actual fight is whatever. Here it is. This guy. Long have I waited for strangers such as yourselves to open the portals once more. Now the lost souls of the dead can be brought together in harmony. As you have brought this to pass, I charge you to help gather the souls unto me. 
Yeah. You have worked on... You have... Okay, here we go. <laughs> so, the reason you go here is because the ferryman gives you weapons. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Based on uh, how many souls you bring him, you get the souls from killing the monsters that spawn here. And therefore it's a uh, pretty simple uh, two for one to power level here, because you get levels and then you get monster souls. Yeah. We just massively increased the power of Buki by giving her that weapon, which is nice. So, uh, yes, we will end the stream here, because I'm going to power level here and gather new uh, spirit orbs. Because I would rather power level while all four of us are together. Rather than when we get split up again. So we're going to build everyone's level up. <sighs> so they're all about equally powerful. Um, so I guess that's the end of this stream. Uh, I had a lot more fun with this one than last one. Uh, for those of you who tuned in live, thanks very much. Uh, if you're interested in seeing this again, or if you missed previous episodes and like to catch up on the full playthrough so far, uh, you can find me at YouTube at Loverboy821. Uh, and if you are watching this on YouTube but would like to uh, see this live, you can find me live at twitch.tv at Loverboy821. The link, of course, is in the description. Bye.